Okay, gang, let's just dive in and knock out the last component that we have to worry about, and that's obviously going to be the vSmart. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect to the vSmart, log in, admin, admin, and then from here, what I want to do is I'm going to say configure terminal, system, and let's do the configuration that we had in place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say host dash name, and we'll say vSmart dash one. Then what we'll do is we will say site ID 100, system IP is going to be, sorry, system IP is going to be 172.10.203. Our organization is going to end up being micronicslab.com. And then what we want to do is we want to define the V-bond. And remember the V-bond is 172.100.202. I'm going to go ahead and do the NTP config. So I'll say NTP server is located. Actually, you know what? Let's do this because what I'm doing is I'm doing what's referred to as an aggregate command. I'm actually placing all the configuration in one line, which Viptela lets you do. But if I wanted to set this up, I could just go to NTP and I could say server. And server is going to be located at 172.1.100.254. I could go ahead and say I want to prefer that and then I can say use VPN zero. Now you saw me do that all as one line earlier. So uh, just understand that that's an option. The other thing is, is the clock time zone. Remember I said I was going to use America and we'd use New York as my configuration here. Now what I'll do is I'll just say commit and we'll get that applied. Now the next thing I want to do now is I'm going to go into VPN zero. I'll do the IP route for the static. say 172110254. Then I'm going to say interface. And on this guy right here, if we take a look at the drawing, on this interface, I'm going to be using Ethernet 0. So no different than the vManage. So I'll say ETH 0. And then what we'll do is we'll say IP address 172110203 slash 24. We will say no shut. And then I'll just commit this and let's see what happens. We should be good to go there. I'm just going to say end and say ping 172.1.101. See if I can ping the jump box. And I can. Remember, I do not have to specify the VPN if I am using VPN 0, which is one of the reasons that we've set this up the way we have. So with that being said, let's see if I can SSH to the vSmart. So in this instance, I'm going to say SSH to admin at 172.1.100.203. And let's see if it lets me in. And it does. And here I am sitting on the vSmart. So this is everything that I wanted us to cover up to this point as far as getting the basics set up. In the next module, we're going to talk about certificates and how to generate certificates and apply certificates. And then ultimately what I want to do is I want to add all of my controllers, my vBond and my vManage to, I'm sorry, my vBond and my vSmart to my vManage console. Until then, I'm Terry Vinson. I wish you luck with this lab. And when we, you guys get done, let's go ahead and fire up and we'll look at how to use the certificate authority for the uh, root server, so the, the root certificate keys. All right, I'll see you guys in that video.